Hey Rebels, my name is Wadi Guy. welcome back to the channel and today we are continuing with Lone Echo. Indeed, another episode of Lone Echo. I found this weird construction in the last episode, of which I had no idea what it did. Uh, but it does look all very interesting and very intriguing. Induction panels, I love these things. They, these give me like radiation power shield up, some kind of like thing. I mean, we went in, into that weird construction last time, but we could also go... Hmm, we could also go just straight here. Make sure I don't hit those things, indeed. Make sure I don't. Indeed! Ow, 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 ow! Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no! Ow! Ah, I hate this. I hate it when this happens. I absolutely despise it, because now I have no idea where I still am. Bloody heck. Oh wait, I think I know where I am now. They just pushed me all back in that. I need to go left here, right? Yeah. Oh, here's another panel. Okay. Cutting things open. That's what we need to do in this game. And here we go. I don't know if it is bad boy. Cut him, cut him, cut him. Ah, ah. Oh, it's quite dark in there. We're going deeper into the rabbit hole. And I don't know what I'm seeing here. There's a big button. Have I been here before? Might have been here. No, it's on the other side of the thing here that I need to get for some reason is emergency beacon with live. Emergency beacon with live. I think. Come on, it's kind of blimey thing. Here we go. This is Captain Olivia Rhodes. Hi, Captain. Aside from the biological contaminant that's rendered the air unbreathable, that includes both human life and aliens. Oh, I can't believe I'm even saying that. But the technology on board doesn't match anything used by Atlas or the USN, so I have to consider the possibility. Though whoever ship this is, the I'm coming for you, Olivia. Don't you worry. Just need to, you know, figure out what, where you are. Now we still need to go and find Liv. Which I have absolutely no idea where she is. I mean, she could just stay there. I mean, and wait. No, oh, oh, no, she needs to find oxygen, of course. Okay, I understand that. Okay, yeah, we've been here. We're just backtracking now. This looks absolutely massive. Wait, can I sign? I can't like scan these things? Failure. Yeah, we don't know what it is, of course. Whoops. Oh, wait a minute. This thing's there. It's panels. I didn't see those last time. Okay. Ah. We need power. Oh, wait a minute. I missed this one last time as well. What have we here? Echo Unit Prototype Android. Obsolete design. Designation Jack. How interesting. What?
My firewall has classified you as malicious code. Identify yourself. I am called Apollo, tactical AI construct on the Astraea. You're on board my ship. I mean you no harm. In fact, I need your help. Oh, sure. Sorry, there's someone I need to find. So I surmised. Curious. Prospecting robots don't perform search and rescue functions. But then, they don't have names either. I would propose a bargain. You help me repair my cortex, and I'll help you find who you're looking for. I don't really trust you. You've already invaded my core systems. Why should I trust you? Exactly. The nature of the repairs will require you to access my essential systems. A significant risk on my part. Consider it a trust building exercise. I understand what I'm asking is difficult, but neither of us has the time for careful consideration. That's true. I suggest you decide quickly. You know where to find me. Oh yeah, right here. Um... I have questions. I have some questions before we begin. Fixing my cortex will likely take some time. If you begin the repairs, I'll do my best to satisfy your curiosity. Ah, uh, okay. Where do I start? My heat sinks are depleted. They must be refilled from the coolant reservoir. You can access the heat sinks from the maintenance consoles. Where are those? Okay. Restore the heat sinks. Okay, there we go. Are right, those done? Alright. Fixed! Is, is that is that how I fix them? Raising heat sinks. The neighboring controls actuate the coolant valve. Use it to refill both heat sinks. Okay. Oh wait, there we go. Drop that. Good. The process is working. Coolant transfer in progress. Wow. Now that is some cooling. Is that water cooling? That's some awesome water cooling. Pretty neat. Pretty neat indeed. There we go. Fill that baby up. We're getting you cooled down. Transfer complete. Now, return the heat sinks to their enclosures. Boom! Man, I want to see the PC that you're running at. Can I run VR? Probably not. Probably not. I have been operating at diminished capacity since we came under fire. You have no idea how good that feels. <laughs> okay. What happened? What did happen here? We were attacked by an enemy cruiser. They deployed some sort of biological agent I haven't previously encountered. Yeah. The resulting damage was... catastrophic. The power surge damaged part of my neural processing net. You'll need to enter my cortex below and repair the damaged cores. Who attacked you? Who attacked you? Tactical data on the conflict is restricted. I'm unable to share that information. Ah, sure. Okay, what's next? Restore mainframe. Okay, so how do we do? How do we go about that? How do I open this? Ooh, wait a minute. And go in here. Parts of my cortex have experienced damage. I will attempt to identify the malfunctioning cores. Okay, so we need to replace. All right. Override slot. We need to scan those babies open. I guess I do. Scan? No. Uh, wire them. F f fire them. I don't know. Damaged core acquired. I can repair the logic circuits using the rewrite terminals on the center column. Ah, okay. Bring the core there. Just put it in. Logic core in place. Scan the I.O. port to transmit the necessary data. Upload complete. Rewriting logic core protocols. I see. Firmware instructions reset. 
Please seat the core back into my cortex. Damn, that's some PC that you got here. Awesome. Logic core repairs completed. Establishing new connection. Keep going. What sort, what of, sort ship of ship is this? I have no record of a spacecraft so heavily armed. I'm sorry, Jack. The Astraea's tactical specifications are restricted. Patching neural net. Uplink successful. Restoring logic connections. There are more damaged cores. We'll need to replace them all before I can bring my systems back online. What function do you serve aboard the Astraea? I am in charge of tactical advisory, targeting, and fire control systems. I am also in charge of managing emergency situations. Well, you're not doing a great job then, are you? Nope. Come on, I can do this. We need to repair all my damaged logic cores before I can bring my systems back online. Core linkage is restored. Half of my cortex is back within established parameters. Right. Your ship arrived at great speed. How do you maneuver a vessel of this size? The Astraea utilizes a Category 3 Casimir faster than light propulsion system powered by spatial dilation. The size of the craft is irrelevant. Faster than light travel is currently impossible. On the contrary, a vessel of this size would be impractical without FTL propulsion. Ah, I get it. No, I don't. Okay. You better not screw me over like that AI in Halo did. Nearly there. The final core should bring all my systems back online. Tell me about your ship's origins. I'm unable to share relevant military data with a civilian model. What is this? Mainframe access? I need to find one more of these things. But where? Where will I be able to... Oh! Gotcha there! Hoppa! Pushing that in. And then it should all be good. And hopefully this giant machine will not kill me. Excellent work. All logic faults have been resolved. Thank you, Jack. I admit, I had my doubts that a prospecting model could perform such a procedure. Hey! Return to the main terminal above. You should be able to fully restore my systems. Hello. Don't do anything weird now. When I do this. Just don't, don't underestimate me. You know, I was built by humans. Core functions online. Testing neural network connections. All systems optimal. Now, to locate my crew. Crew? That wasn't our arrangement, Apollo. You're supposed to help me find Liv. You misunderstand me, Jack. To locate your friend, I'll need to connect to the ship's diagnostic systems. That will require an officer's command codes. Your goals and my goals align. I've restored power to the exit. In emergency situations, all essential personnel are evacuated to a command bunker. We should seek them there. Cool! Re revive Apollo's crew. Okay, cool, we can do that. Poor Apollo's promise to find Lyft. Yeah, well, we, we'll see about that. Where, where is that that I need to go now? Oh, probably in this large hole. Right? Or, or no, there. I need to go there. I came from that large hole. I came from that large hole. That doesn't sound really good. Again, the hang of this though. Alright. 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 I'm coming for you, Liv. Ooh, jeez. Not good. Okay, we're going around then. this nice and safe stay far away from them as possible Ooh. 
Oh. Ooh, okay. I know what I'm doing. Don't you worry. Okay. That way. Excuse me. Why is my arm doing weird things? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Nope. Don't. Here we are. No, nope, that way. Jeez, like how much stuff is here? Don't touch anything. Uh, I don't like how they grunt. Like, bleh, bleh, bleh. It's like they're puking the entire time. Here we go. I made it. But how are you even getting there? The crew quarters are in this way, just beyond the main control room. Okay. I'm going to close this again, though. Freaking spores. Spores are everywhere. Do I need that even? Not really, but you know, just for old time's sake. Zip. All right. Two quarters in that way. You said Apollo. Apollo. He's awfully quiet all of a sudden. I have no idea where we're going, but I'm liking it though. Don't get me wrong. This is the TACCOM station. We can scan the ship from the terminal here once we've awakened the crew. The cryo chamber should be nearby. Well, no, I want to open it then. Okay. Cool. Override slot. Mainframe access. All right. Don't want really to get it. Okay, we'll go that way then. Oh. This is it, Jack. We have arrived at the cryo chamber. Some of the pods are still operational. To revive the crew, we'll need to restore the power grid. How can I reach the power systems? The emergency generator is beneath us. Look around for a utility hatch. Utility hatch? Jeez, like, can't you, like, direct me towards one? There. Okay, this all is not working. Everything is broken. Alright. Don't worry, Liv. Coming to get you. Alright. Ooh, this goes down deep. Oh, that's freaky. Whoops, that was the wrong button. The contamination is increasing in density. The biomass feeds on power currents. Reactivating the ship's systems may make navigation more treacherous. We should proceed with caution. Uh, is this smart to do then? I mean, we're robots, we'll be fine. Well, no, if it feeds of power, it will feed of us. That's not great at all. That's the generator up ahead. The fusion reaction is completely inert. We'll need to execute a jump start. How do I reboot the system? We'll need three power cells to complete the procedure. I'll collect what we need. Oh, darn it. I should have taken those power cells with me. Oh, it was a long trip then, though. Okay. Examine. The generator is offline, but appears intact. We can restart the fusion reaction using standard power cells. You should see what you can scavenge from the surrounding area. Power junction. Does that work? Oh, 
charge station. Oh, that's pretty good. That's not very good. Okay. That's all right then. Can I open this? Yeah, but I'm gonna turn this thing off. There we go. What you gonna do now, huh? Shrink in size, indeed. Okay, so power goes here then. something here oh no charge station <gasps> is that a battery oh, wait that's where I came from no wait that is a battery though how come I missed that found one Do need to charge it okay now direct power there no that's not where I came from Ah, okay. Power junction. Then the power. Then all the power. Did that work? It is sending power now. I guess that is charged, right? Putting that thing in there. And then we only need to find two more. I say only, but it's actually quite a lot. Positive contact. The power cell is in place and ready to fire. I'll look for additional cells. Yeah, Apollo, what are you doing actually? Like, I mean, don't you like scan the area for like additional power cells or something? Tell me where the heck they are. Ah. Oh, there's another one. Okay, this is very active here though. Oops. Ow, stuck in the floor. No. Just turn the power off. I'm turn it off for a little while. Because I don't. See, 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 that works. That freaking works. This power cell is drained. We'll need to find a way to recharge yes, this before yes. returning to the generator. Already fixed that, Jack. Don't worry. Way ahead of you. Way ahead of you. There. Turn that on. It's working. The power cell is accepting the charge. Of course it is. I don't know what I'm doing, Apollo. Both robots don't think you're better than me. Alright, just one more to go. What was that? Well, what is this actually? Are you. Oh, are you serious? Another unpowered cell. You bastards. We'll need to recharge this one as well. I've been looking for this for like 20, 20 minutes. Ow. There we go. There. All good. Injecting fusion material. You can now use the console to bring the generator back online. Be prepared to move quickly. Radiation levels will climb rapidly once the reaction begins. Ah, are you serious? And where do I need to go then? Power 
unstable. Radiation levels climbing. Quickly, we should return to the cryo chamber. Oh. We may be able to revive the crew. Wait, do we need to travel through the entire place again? Oh, blimey. Oh, blimey. Wait, was there like a door that I didn't see? Like I, uh, there was probably like a door I could just open. No? Well, anyway, we're here now. Um What? Hey, okay. clearing radiation zone. Excellent work. Now, we must revive the crew. The hibernation controls at the center of the room can release the security protocols and begin decompression. Accessing cryogenic systems. Once the security protocols are released, you should be able to decompress each pod by hand. Okay, is one of these contains lift, I hope. Okay. Now, let's see the aliens. No sinus rhythm. Negative respiration. E.T. Miller. Unfortunate. Sensor expertise would have been invaluable. Aww. Apollo, these are Atlas personnel. My captain and I are members of the Atlas Initiative. Captain Olivia Rhodes, Prospecting Division. Disappeared 400 years ago in 2126. What? A very impressive file. Disappeared? I am sorry, Jack. But the Echo model has been obsolete for centuries. It is overwhelmingly likely your commander is dead and that you are... malfunctioning. What? No, but we, we found, like, things and stuff. She was in here. Gunnery Chief Giles, very resilient, a discouraging loss. Darn it! Has everything been for nothing then? Hello? Ensign Leitner, fire controller, 23 years old, barely old enough to hold a commission. Now what? How many more do we need to open? Looks like a senior officer. Lieutenant Commander McClintock, head of tactical ops. Apollo, if the biomass compromised this cryo chamber, it is unlikely any other. I have a duty to this ship and her crew. I must be sure. If we collect the commander's biometric data, we can use the TACCOM station to scan the rest of the ship for survivors, including our captain. Open the pod and find the IO port on her spacesuit. Data collection complete. Processing. Access code acquired. I should be able to access the diagnostic systems. Now, please, return to the TACCOM station and link me to the main terminal. So everyone's dead? No cool aliens? That's a disappointment. Darn it. Well, that's very encouraging. 